Yehovah Eloheinu Svaod. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Please fill me with the Ruach of Kadesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself, and you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey, han, behold, nail, behold. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Now this is the mitzvah, the laws and rulings, which Yehovah your God ordered me to teach you for you to obey in the land you are crossing over to possess, so that you will fear Yehovah your God and observe all his regulations and mitzvot that I am giving you, you, your child, your grandchild, as long as you live, so that you will have long life. Therefore, listen, Israel, and take care to obey, so that things will go well with you, and so that you will increase greatly, as you have all your God of your ancestors promised you by giving you a land flowing with milk and honey. Shema Israel, Yehovah Eloheinu, Yehovah Echad, hear Israel, Yehovah our God, Yehovah is one. You are to love Yehovah your God with all your heart, all your being, all your resources. These words which I am ordering you today are to be on your heart, and you are to teach them carefully to your children. You are to talk about them when you sit at home, and when you are traveling on the road, and when you lie down, and when you get up. Tie them on your hand as a sign. Put them at the front of a headband around your forehead, and write them on the doorpost frames of your house and on your gates. When you have all, your God has brought you into the land he swore to your ancestors, Abraham, Yitzhak, in Yaakov, that he would give you cities great and prosperous, which you didn't build, houses full of all sorts of good things, which you didn't fill, water, si water cisterns dug out, which you didn't dig, vineyards and all the trees, which you didn't plant, and you have eaten your fill, then be careful not to forget Yehovah, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, where you lived as slaves. You who fear Yehovah, your God, Serve him and swear by his name. You are not to follow other gods chosen from the gods of the peoples around you because you have all your God who is here with you is a jealous God. If you do, the, if you do, the anger of you have all your God will flare up against you and he will destroy you from the face of the earth. Do not put you have all your God to the test as you tested him in Massa testing. Observe diligently the mitzvot of Yehovah your God, and its instructions and laws which he has given you. You are to do what is right and good in the sight of Yehovah, so that things will go well with you, and you will enter and possess the good land Yehovah swore to your ancestors, expelling all your enemies ahead of you. As Yehovah said, someday your child will ask you, what is the meaning of of the instructions, laws, and rulings which Yehovah our God has laid down for you. Then you will tell your child, We were slaves in, uh, to Pharaoh in Egypt, and you have all brought us out of Egypt with a strong hand. You have all worked great and terrible signs, wonders against Egypt, Pharaoh, and all his household before our very eyes. He brought us out from there in order to bring us to the land he swore to our ancestors that he would give us. Yehovah ordered us to observe all these laws, to fear Yehovah our God, always for our own good, so that he might keep us alive as we are today. It will be righteousness for us if we are careful to obey all these mitzvot before Yehovah our God, just as he ordered us to do. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading this most awesome chapter 6 of Deuteronomy? We can teach the mitzvah, laws, and rulings which Yehovah our Elohim ordered Moshe to teach and obey. Fear Yehovah. Observe His regulations and rulings. Listen and obey to the written words of Yehovah. 
trust wholeheartedly. Yehovah Eloheinu, Yehovah Achad, the works in unity with himself. Love Yehovah, your Elohim, with all your heart, all your being, and all your resources. Aim to aim for the words of Yehovah be on your heart. Teach them to your children carefully. Talk about them when you sit at your home, when you're traveling on the road, when you lie down, when you get up, when you tie these words around your hand as a sign. Put them on the front of your forehead, front of your headband, around your forehead. Write them on the door frames of your house and on your gates. Trust in Yehovah as your provider. Remember Yehovah always. Fear Yehovah your Elohim. Serve Yehovah and swear by his name. Observe diligently the mitzvot of Yehovah our Elohim and his instructions and laws which he gave us. Aim to do what is right in the sight of Yehovah. Trust the great and mighty arm of Yehovah. Fear Yehovah wholeheartedly. Righteousness is this, to carefully obey all these mitzvot before Yehovah, our Elohim, just as he ordered us to do. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can teach others to listen and obey wholeheartedly, in unity, the written words of Yehovah, fearing him. Bear one another's burdens, we can listen and obey wholeheartedly in unity to the written words of Yehovah with fear. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. We'll end with the Arianic blessing using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order. And he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. 